Hey guys, it's another session of Art with Rubris. Um, this this video is not really a tutorial. I'm just doing I'm just doing preparation work for my next video. So this is more like a benchmark instead. So what I was preparing is that I was creating a video on how do we use the canvas render. So the you can basically you can isolate objects in your scene and render it part by part while preserving reflection and shadows. Yeah, it's a bit too technical to understand. So let's look at the result directly. Okay, so normally this is how you you render. Correct. You have your model and your background, all that. So using the canvas render you can isolate and render your model only and of course you can do the reverse as well which is to render the background only so this is great if you enjoy using photoshop to do your post work um, you will have a lot of uh, reusability value but if you want to swap out your background that can be easily done so yeah um, the the actual functional usage i will cover in the next video but so this one is just a, a benchmarking so i was wondering since we are isolating the objects and rendering part by part well by theory it should be faster right um but unfortunately, the test which I've performed has proven that is not necessarily correct. So this one is my initial benchmark, which I performed, or I just waited to, for it to get around 100 iteration. I waited for 2 minutes and 6 seconds. So full scenes is referring to this. Yeah, obviously, I, I just waited for 2 minutes and 6 seconds. Um, therefore, it's a bit grainy. And 2 minutes, 6 seconds, 140 iteration just for the model, which is referring to this. And the last one is... Okay, so the analysis for this one is, well, obviously, if you are just rendering the model alone, therefore, uh, that studio will only use we only use the um, texture and polygon for the model, correct? So it should be faster, that, that makes sense. But when I reach my third benchmark, which is for the classroom only, it starts, the number starts to get a bit weird. Since theoretically, this should be faster than this in the sense that by the time reach 2 minutes 6 seconds uh, it should be above 103 iteration so i'm just thinking it could be many reasons it could be because i was uh, rendering um, back to back um, the ram could be full and the system need to purge and reload the texture for all that so i was thinking another thing i want to check is does canvas render safe GPU memory? Hmm, I really need to get rid of this. So what did I do is um what you should do is you can go into help do the troubleshooting, view your log file. Yeah, start performing this. I just look for the time you. Okay, it should be around here. Very soon.
Okay, so this is the part where I started performing my benchmark around 11 p.m. So the first, the device zero refers to my graphic card, first graphic card, and device one refer to my second graphic card. So these two numbers is essentially the same, 1.75 gigabyte. So I perform three render in a row, as you can see over here, same as well, same as well, same. That's all. So what it means is that this tree render, it does not, even though you are just rendering the model itself, um, all the objects that is visible in your scene over here is loaded into your GPU. Whether the canvas render show it or not, it will not help you save any memory. So bad news for you guys with um, four gigabyte cards. I thought it would help you to save a bit of memory, but that is not the case. So anyway, that's the conclusion for my benchmark. Um, using canvas render, it helps a lot for your post work preparation. It allows you to do um, value added work um, and all that. But in terms of actual performance boost, unfortunately, I it is not proven by my benchmark. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope you will subscribe. Uh, the next video will teach you really advanced technique about how to configure the canvas canvas over here and then i will show you how we do the post work and composite all these things together yeah thank you very much